Yes, all very good points, Paimon. I would add that in its attempt to pay tribute to the series A Thousand Nights, all semblance of a coherent was sacrificed. Plus, I do have to penalize you for the issues with the props. Miss Idea, what are you doing back here? Oh, you know, I return like the tide when people start discussing something important. Huh, especially when it has to do with criticizing my show. Mm-hmm. But there was one thing I liked about it. Just one, mind you. The story had a good ending. You think so? I thought I was letting him off lightly. Idea, could I borrow you for a moment? Oh, sure. Excuse me for a moment. Back to you, Paimon. Keep up the good criticism. Okay, in that case, Paimon did have one other complaint. Let's hear it. Taking criticism on the chin is all part of being a director. The ending was all wrong. The girl's motives were clear and simple the whole way through. It was kind of jarring when all she had to say was, I don't know. And doesn't anyone else find it weird how her whole community was on the run, but she was only looking out for herself the whole time? I'm fine. I'm not going to improve without feedback. I also learned a lot this time with the chance to be off stage. To be honest, it was a dream come true. What a great attitude. You don't seem upset at all by our comments. I wouldn't say I'm completely unaffected, but you're only speaking the truth. They're all very valid points. Still, now that Paimon thinks about it, you did finish the script in a bit of a rush. Hmm. Maybe we are being a little too hard on you. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Nothing is as important to me as my work on the stage. We all use our imaginations when we're kids, right? I used to play with dolls and my own cardboard cutouts by the light of an oil lamp. The shadows would come to life and dance on the walls. I never got tired of it. Fast forward to now, and in many ways, I'm still that same little kid. Lying on his bed, making sound effects. And I get the same joy from running a show now, as I did in my little bedroom theater. Of course, a director can accomplish nothing without a cast and crew. So on that note, I want you to all know that I am eternally grateful to each and every one of you. Hey, don't mention it! We had a blast! <laughs> okay, here, take this. Your component, as promised. It's the bottle from the show! The one that lit up when I blew into it! That's right! Can you guess the secret behind why it lights up? Maybe there's an invisible fairy inside that opens its eyes when you blow into it. Uh, bingo! You guessed it. That should do the trick. Oh, wait, this needs tightening up a little. Hold on, this will only take a second. Hmm, this outfit's more fashionable than I imagined. Excuse me, everyone. Do you have a moment? Especially you, Zosimos. Itia wants to do a little something for you. She says it'll be a dream come true. A dream come true? Yes. She said that as useless as she is, she wants to do something for you as the first person to have heard of your dream of being a director. Her words, not mine. I have to disagree, though. I have never thought of Idea as a useless person. How is this suddenly about me? If everybody is ready, then I'd like to invite tonight's male lead to take the stage! Ta-da! Wow! Cool! Kaya's turned into the real Dagger Bandit! 
Um, how is me changing outfits supposed to make the director's day? It's just a prototype costume. Is he that easy to please? Don't be silly. If I know art director, nothing will make him happier than to see his ideas brought to life by the right actor. <laughs> well then, I'm happy to oblige. Who am I to argue with the star of the show? Zosimos drew up countless designs and made a few prototypes before landing on this one. It just needed some tailoring to fit properly, so I made a few stitches here and there. I hope the result isn't a disappointment. Oh, it's perfect. Idea, I... I'm... Oh, <laughs> I'm so touched. Thank you all. You've made me happier than I ever thought I could be. How are you doing? Recovered? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you again, Idea. Oh, please, don't mention it. Well, now that we have the final component, it's time to say goodbye for now. Let's head to the core of the Valurian Mirage and get this place fixed up. Can I keep wearing my costume? Please do, by all means. Both of you can keep your costumes. It seems only fair. Yay! Kaya, keep wearing yours too. It looks amazing. <laughs> I agree with our mage. I'm sure it's not every day you get to play such an unforgettable character. Sure. I think I can be a bandit for a little longer. Bye-bye, Mr. Director. Take care, my dear friends. <laughs>